Good morning to you. I have put in a banana in here. I have strawberries. I have uh, some cherries that I'm putting in. I'm removing the pit and I'm putting some ice. Now, if this is a new drink, although I think I'm still going to top it off a little bit with pineapple juice because this juice that you see here is grape juice. Uh, it almost looks like Welch's juice. But it came from the farmer's market freshly squeezed. So you pay a little extra for it. So here are my cherry pieces. Uh, see, I'm removing the pits. And actually, I'm saving these pits and I'm drying them. I'm collecting pits. Lemon pits, cherry pits, avocado pits. I'm saving it because I'm a prepper. Okay. There's another, another cherry. Cherry pieces and the pit. I'm saving it. Okay. So, I already have about four pits in there from before I started filming. Okay. So now I have cherry banana. I'm going to put some mint leaves. Where's my mint leaves? Okay. Mint leaves. Whatever you have in your fridge, folks. Whatever you have in your fridge. That's what I go by. When I'm in the supermarket, I buy stuff and, uh, Mint leaves. Okay. Mint leaves. I'll top it off later on. Okay. That's actually way more than I normally do. Okay. But I'm trying to use up all my mint leaves because they give me a nice generous portion at the supermarket. Okay. So I have ice in there as well. Oh, the most important part of it. Oh my goodness. How am I going to forget? All right. So this time I didn't get the plain yogurt. Let me show you the lid. This is the yogurt I got this time. Vanilla it probably has less of the probiotics. Uh, it does give it flavor. You could actually eat it plain. Because uh, it, it, it's, it's nicely flavored. It's an acquired taste, though. And so I'm going to... This is the whole purpose of my early breakfast drink. To get probiotics in, in my empty stomach. Okay? That's the key word. Empty stomach. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit of this. Watch. I'm going to mouth this piece. Mmm. It really actually tastes good. But I think it, it is an acquired taste. Okay. So we're ready to go. The blender may stop because it is a little full, but let me give it a try. I'm going to try to force it. All right, here we go. You're going to see the whole blender, okay? You're going to see a part of it. The trick is, when you have this kind of blender as a ninja, sometimes you got to hold it this way, and that keeps it going. Otherwise, it may stop if it's too full. <laughs> It's still going. See the numbers? That means it's still going. Got it under pulse. Actually, it's blend. The blend button. Nice. Done. See how it turns off? I love this blender. So, now I'm going to make a pretty picture because... Usually, it looks really pretty. Uh, for me, when I'm drinking it, but for the picture, I need it to be... Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a pretty cup. All you folks watching out there, I'm going to use a pretty cup. And we're going to see this delicious drink. Not only taste delicious and be very nutritious, but sometimes we need a pretty picture. And here we go. Pretty picture. Oh. Okay, 
So here's my pretty picture. And I do have to show you what's on the ingredients because a picture is worth a thousand words. Okay, so that's what's in my drink. Okay, so you can't see the cherries there, but there they are right behind you. Oh, let's not forget the strawberries. And I got a drink that my drinking make it to my appointment. Strawberries. Now, I can't really see the strawberries from here, right? So now, truth be told, Strawberries should always be organic. It's one of the things on the must be organic list. Why, I don't know. But I also follow others, other knowledge banks on YouTube. Uh, I think uh, um, <coughs> no comment about uh, <laughs> Google, right? Which is the owner of Google, uh, of, of YouTube, etc. But... Um, the fact is, it's it's really actually a good medium for people to uh, learn from one another and make a living. I, I'm hoping maybe I can make a living, but quite frank, frankly, the fact is, I've always loved to share my knowledge, and I have a lot of knowledge. Uh, stay tuned. Watch every every um, watch out for the nugget. Right, there's a nugget out there waiting for you. If if you are knowledgeable, there's always a nugget somebody has for you. Okay, keep watching Knowledge Banks. I am going to teach about this. This is uh, EMF protection. Um, I'm going to talk about a lot of things. Um, I've been into uh, self-healing uh, for about 30 years. And um, even I fail. Okay. So you see this? This coloring of mine is because my blood work came back and it said I didn't have enough D3 vitamins. So I'm... I, I, I'm uh, making an effort to to expose myself to the sun a little more, despite the fact that I always thought the UV rays are... Not, they actually are not what they used to be, right? It's not safe. But five minutes in the sun is better than even taking D3. Um, I will share... I, I do have a lot of knowledge to share. Some things you, you tend to forget, right? It's in the back of your mind. So walk with me as I bring for, forth uh, knowledge areas that I've acquired during my, my lifetime. And also as I learned new things, learn new things. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Give me a comment. That would be greatly appreciated to know that I'm not just talking to the air. Um, please uh, turn on the, the notifications and um, see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.